Okay, this video is to cover orders of operations. What is order of operations? Order of operation refers to which mathematical expression takes precedence over another mathematical expression. A word we use for this is PMDAS, or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. This is an anagram to explain how to approach which mathematical function is first. P in this word stands for parentheses. E is for exponents. M is for multiplication. And D is for division. A is for addition. And S is for subtraction. And these are the orders of operations for this. Here's an example problem. Here we got 1 plus 2 times 10 minus 3 divided by 100 times minus 2 to the third. And this, using order of operations, the first thing to solve is the exponent. In this case, we got a minus 2 to the third. When you multiply, when you uh, do the exponent, you're going to get a negative 8. Next, you do the parentheses. In this case, in the parentheses, we got a 10 minus 3. When you calculate that out, you get a 7. Third is multiplication. In this case, we have two separate multiplication problems. We got a 2 times 7, and we also have 100 minus 8. When you multiply those out, you get a 14 and a negative 800. Next is division, which is a fraction, which is 14 over a minus 800, or 14 divided by a minus 800. When you calculate that out, you get a negative 0 0.0175. And finally, the fifth and sixth step in this example is addition and subtraction. In this case, they're the same. You can either say you got a 1 plus a minus 0 0.0175, or you can say 1 minus a 0 0.0175. Both are equivalent in this uh, example right here. After calculating out, your final answer should be a 0. 9825. So the final answer for this problem for 1 plus 2 times 10 minus 3 over 100 minus 2 to the third following orders of operations is a 0 0.9825.